Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This is another in the Sheriff's Badge uh, series of skill plates. Uh, have to do Powerhouse KO. He's one of everybody's favorite spots for a Sheriff's Badge. Um, I'm an avid Powerhouse KO hater. But, that being said, I understand that he's incredibly powerful, can beat anyone, um, and by far a lot of people's best favorite character in the game. Sheriff's Badge is literally one of the best plates for him. Um, so let's take a look. I am not a powerhouse KO expert by any stretch of the imagination. If I was going to run him uh, on the regular, this is the way I would do it, though. Um, so it's 100% strap. Not that he needs it. Any strap is fine. Um, but Sheriff's Badge, whenever you break 15 or more red gems, generate 30 yellow. And then I personally... What like a skill plate that chucks gems here just in case you miss it gives you one more potential out to break a few more gems and and have it work it also will help you if you get the match uh with the purple recycle your trap move and stuff so i like the twilight ritual actually here a lot you can put other plates and do more damage if it works like you could use maze crown you could use the aussie plate all of that can potentially generate more damage for you, but also increase your risk of missing. He also has a moment for feud that generates, if I'm not mistaken, it's either three or four trap gems. That makes him even safer. Um, so there's that. Also, if you have a middle lane, I would replace Brawn with Santa Hogan. Then all of this is uh, charged turn one with the plus one MP to a middle lane, and you probably won't miss, although I think I've managed to do that too. So anyway... Um, move set maybe a little bit different than your max damage KO sort of stuff. I'm always going to try to eliminate risk as much as I can. So there's the stunner. If we miss turn one, it's loaded turn two. Um, for sure. Uh, cannonball, it's the trap moves. You guys know it. I'm not going to read them. You know what they do. Mm. Um, MP guys. So you're loaded. No Santa needed. The extra two traps is huge. Um, any extra traps is actually huge. If there's a generate one trap person, I would put them there for sure. Um, so yeah, here's your build set and let's go against BPP. I'm at silver. So you double the damage you see here at gold. The way I like doing it is chucking the purples first, because these are the ones you swipe to get your red break. And it's really easy to keep track of where your gems go. You want to leave reds on the board if possible. Uh, we have a two match of traps, so we're definitely going to take the two match. Um, we don't have a three. And then you chuck these out. So we're going to swipe down here with this one, or up. It doesn't matter. Let's go up because we break that one. And then you wait and see if you connect. So you can see I missed. I didn't generate enough reds to get the sheriff's badge to go off. The purple didn't break. Um, it did get one match. So now we're just going to kind of see what happens. This is normal for me with KO. And you probably won't see that in a lot of videos. But this happens often with KO in my experience. Uh, now we're subbed. Not ideal. Um, I want to... What, I want to leave this row break if possible right here, if we can get out of this. Not, not good. Stop, please. There goes the row break, of course. Uh, I need the purple. There we go. There's the plate bailing us out again. The Chuck purple plate. It almost bailed us out the first time, but we didn't break another set of traps, so... Really need Scott to cascade here, and then we'll be back in business, and we can give this a try again. Um, we're fine here, because this is loaded, this move, which is why that move is in there. And so we'll just go on the bottom portion of the board, I think, here. Like, right about here. And that should work out quite nicely for us. And then here comes the Sheriff's Badge, getting more traps, adding more damage, etc. And that's 88 million. It would have been 160, 88, uh, 160, like 176 million at gold. 
So, like, he hits stupid hard, right? And that's obviously why uh, people are going to love him. I'll run another one um, for when it works, hopefully, right? That row break appeals. Even if it's red, uh, we would get three gems there. So even though it's red, I think three is a much better value pick than two. Maybe not, though, because it's all red. Let me think about this for a second. No matter what I pick, it's going to be the wrong choice. But I'll take the three. We're looking good. And here comes that sh Sheriff's Badge, I think, coming out there. And um, turn one, 37 million. Would be almost, a, what, almost 80 at gold? Not quite. And we obviously missed a bunch of traps, so that wasn't perfect. And uh, I'll do one more for you guys. But Sheriff's Badge takes a lot of the risk out of it. Um, with KO. Not all of it, for sure, but it definitely makes him more consistent. He's kind of the ultimate slot machine. You like to gamble, you love big hits, KO is going to be your favorite uh, in the game, probably bar none. Mm. This See, this happens to me a lot. We only have one possible match of gems, so trying to decide the spot, um, I think I'll take this bottom swipe. We'll see. Mm. Well, here goes nothing. Of course. <laughs> it went into the dead spot. There's three spots available for that to happen, and it went into them. Literally, wow. I don't, somebody who's good at odds can tell me what the odds of that hot mess were, but it, they weren't good. They weren't good. Gee willikers. Come on, game. This is why I just can't with KO. I literally just can't. And I, I'm not cherry picking. I'm just playing the matches, right? Like, it doesn't matter. I play KO. Bad things happen. Uh, this will hit super hard, though, now. This is going to hit crazy hard. Because we have traps all over the gosh dang place. Mm, no, let's get that. That's 191 million at silver. That would be what, 380 at gold? Something like that. So yeah. Kao can hit super hard. To me, super frustrating, but I get why a ton of people love him. And uh, absolutely uh, one of the best spots for a sheriff's badge. Um, you can do crazy stuff with it. Um, again, I know there are better ways potentially people can set this up for feud um, if you want like to, to hit harder. Uh, tour certainly you can hit way harder with tour builds for this. Um, but I'm interested in trying to be the most consistent and I would I do think of all of the ways I would run KO this would be the most consistent but I would prefer to put him in a middle lane um, with Santa so this move is charged turn one. That would be my preference. That would be playable to me because the odds of missing then are extremely, extremely low. Uh, but middle lane is a, is a really hard um, ask in general, but KO can hit super hard. So that would probably be my recommendation. But Sheriff's badge on him is lights out. So video is definitely worth doing. I see why people love it. I mean, who doesn't want to hit for 200 million at, at freaking silver, right? So let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know people love seeing me play KO because it's very counter to what I normally do. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And remember to like, subscribe, and share because that really helps me out. And that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there.
Yeah, I'm not surprised I missed two out of the three tries. I really am not. I'm surprised I didn't miss three out of three.